Hello my fellow traders and welcome back to another technical analysis video the Elliott Wave Way brought to you by yours truly Richard with Lionheart EWA. Uh, basically today is an historical day because uh, we do have um, the most important event of them all uh, for this week the ECB press conference and guess what uh, this guy who's actually speaking right now He's, um, you know, he's mostly, what he did until now was just to push the euro down. But now, something is happening with the euro, right? Um, euro USD might just uh, actually deliver that bullish leg that I've been hunting and waiting for uh, all this time, right? So I'm here on the Euro USD on the two hour time frame, just as an intraday, never mind what happened basically in the back there. It's a, a complex uh, structure uh, right there. So, but this is, this could be the final piece to actually complete that structure, uh, regardless if this would be a wave four or a B wave. Okay. Doesn't matter. The point is that um, I'm looking at a potential extension in a free of freeze in a 1-2 uh, minute green 1-2 and then minuet black 1 and then minuet uh, 2 black and then this should actually shoot on the upside for a rally. Okay, so your USD might just take advantage of uh, this ECB press conference and the shift that uh, President um, Draghi of the ECB is actually doing right now, right? It's about time, yo. So um, basically, um, today's video will not really be about the um, ECB and Euro and stuff like that. I've been actually waiting for the swing for quite some time. It, it was quite exhausting. I mean, if you do, if you are actually following me from, from a while back, you'll basically uh, notice uh, or know how um, impatient things might have uh, beca become, you know. So, anyhow, let's just move on because there are multiple other uh, opportunities there in the market and more uh, more important ones i would say the euro usd indeed i'm seeing a leg up in an impulse and that's what we do elioticians right we are hunting impulses so this could be one of them just wanted to share it with you today's video i didn't really had in mind to go for the euro but since uh, i've noticed some words in the uh, press conference then you know, might as well include it in this video. So let's just move on, right? Now there's there's something important here that I would like to actually like to say because on May 7th, I uh, published, a, a, I would say an important article on the market crash cycles and indices, focusing on indices. So um, this is a, actually a market crash roadmap. Um, would like you guys to uh, take a look if you want because there's a dinosaur coming, right? Um, it, it's basically the depth, the, the global depth and uh, things that are actually happening right now. So it's kind of dodgy, y'all. Okay. Now, what I've did was uh, on multiple markets, basically on the VIX, the volatility index and, you know, fear grid uh, index right there and European indices, uh, let's say CAC, DAX, FTSE and US indices, Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, but also included some um, Asian. Uh, indices such as the uh, Nikkei and the Hong Kong basically stock exchange. Yeah. So without further ado, like, I mean, before we do that, just let's see, you, you guys know my views and you've, if you did, uh, if you are following me from a while back, if you do want to work with me, you have basically the most, I mean, two uh, best, uh, best scenarios, either the invest fund in which I actually uh, trade funds uh, on behalf of my investors or uh, just um, one on one session so I can actually assist you as a wingman. Now, remember, please, if you do like this video, please support it with a thumbs up. This way I would be able to create more and boost the content up or you know, uh, you can hit the dislike, <laughs> it's okay, but <laughs> um, uh, let, let's just move on, right? I would really appreciate your like uh, or a share. A share is even better. So uh, anyhow, let's just continue. Now the VIX, let's say for instance, so during that time, I was expecting a VIX spike. Basically, the VIX to actually show uh, that the fear um, period would actually 
um, come back, return. Okay, so this was the borderline. Basically, this was the the breaking point where I said, okay, if it if it breaks this point, then VIX would be able to surprise once more. And um, one month ago, I mean that article was published on the seventh of June. Uh, today is the sixth of June. It is f uh, all yeah, of four p.m. Eastern European Standard Time, right? So basically one month. Now, uh, when it comes to the charts, yeah, let's say on the CAC, on the monthly uh, chart, right here, CAC 40, France 40, I'm actually labeling it as, um, as an ending diagonal in a potential B wave, basically from here, uh, the A wave swing in um, basically the 2003 uh, bottom and then 2007 uh, top and then the, the recession 2008-2009 and then since then it's just you know not doing much so basically this is a contraction uh, this entire thing is a um, not a grand super cycle but at a millennial um, degree correction in a wave four so it's actually a flat okay now, the market crash will be uh, somewhere around here, my personal opinion, and it is actually showing me a potential ending diagonal in a ABC. So one cycle green one, then cycle green uh, two, three, four, and then we all need all we need is an ABC. So uh, that's basically for the CAC, and multiple markets are showing me the you know practically the same thing by the way these are all explained right here so if one if you like a good read and get ready for uh, the upcoming crash because guys it is coming it's inevitable okay some 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 things are are coming just like you know remember me when i um recorded that um, elite wave course the video course back in um january 2018 when i said that the um you know the markets were booming uh, US indices were booming, everything was booming, so um, I've noticed the possibility for a dip coming, I mean a contraction starting, which di which did, which is actually this one from here, yeah? so it, it actually did, so right here on the DAX, on the weekly uh, time frame, okay, the way I'm labeling it is in a um, fifth wave of a very large degree, but in an ABC, so one, two, three, four, five, same thing, but in an ending diagonal, of course, uh, all, all, all waves uh, being basically labeled as an ABC, so first wave, grand super cycle, um, with super cycle, uh, grand super cycle one green, uh, subdivided as ABC, super cycle purple, and then there we go. So ABC, ABC, so free, 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 y'all. That's the sequence for this ending diagonal. So A, B, C, three, then three, and then three, and then another three, and then three. So W, X, Y right here in this fourth wave, which have been ruthlessly tracking and called all these dips on the DAX. If you uh, want to see how, just check uh, my bio on the website, basically Richard's bio. You'll be able to see how I have uh, been able to um, track all these. Okay, excuse me for talking so fast, but I have a lot of content to, uh, I have a lot to say and a lot of content to go over. So um, let's just continue. Now, where we are right now, we have ended the cycle, uh, basically the wave A, and what we're doing is, I'm basically we, we contracted since the time of the post uh, one month ago. Okay, we contracted on the downside, so this is a good sign. Now it should gain support somewhere. But I do see one more dip for the indices, and that's the purpose for this video. So again, if you like this short and simple, I would say the indices will have um, a bit more downside, and then uh, the market, the bull market, the last bull run, this one, yeah, would actually come. So the last one before the market crash, y'all. So it's serious. It's a serious thing. So one more leg up, and then ABCs back to 2009, um, basically levels or who knows okay because this is a very big degree it's like um it's it's not really looking like a recession a normal recession it's actually looking like a depression and i'm serious about this so i'm starting to think that things are going to be uh quite you know not so good anyhow let's just continue with the FTSE which is also in a flat so we've ended basically the FTSE back uh, back in the 2000 or dot com bubble we've ended um, grand super cycle uh, wave three 
on the rally since the 1930s. Pretty cool. Now, um, after that, we're doing an expanding or running flat here, okay? In a sense that, of course, this wing actually went above, uh, uh, basically uh, above the start of, uh, basically made beyond the start of uh, wave, through, wave A, right? So, uh this is either a running or expanding flat in the worst case scenario this is a running flat but still uh 4550 is uh, you know basically a decent measurement uh, at least 100 percent right so uh, by looking at this the way i see it is uh, basically cycle super cycle wave a red and then the super cycle wave b red subdividing as an abc obviously right so wave a did not go past i mean did not create a new high point a higher high uh, all time high whatever and wave b did not go beyond so pff, wave c must go okay and already did and you actually can uh, you can actually see sorry guys okay you guys can actually see that i was present around here there are some ideas if you do want to see these ideas either check the website or my trading view uh profile for uh for you to actually see how i call this dip okay because that's when things actually started. So the way I'm labeling FTSE 100 on this monthly chart is an A, B, and then the ending diagonal in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, subdividing as a 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So A, B, C, first, uh, first wave. And then uh, 2, and then 3, 4. Yeah, well, the B wave already happened, y'all. So it dipped. Now, I'm expecting a support, but... A few, uh, around 700 uh, 7000 okay but it might have a little bit more downside to go before okay so this ending diagonal as you can actually see i'm labeling it in uh in a rising channel it's a bit different this footsie is behaving a little bit different than than the others okay so uh let's say let's move on to the us uh, indices right here okay because dow jones on this um, monthly chart now this is different it's it hasn't been trading in a, in a complex uh, structure or something right it's just delivering the last fifth leg on the upside and making things all look like nice and peachy but uh, something is coming right there around the corner just like i said here that a dip is coming and it did and then in october and november and september i just said to, 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 go, guys 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 and it did it's coming and then of course during uh, during videos and webinars and stuff i was actually explaining that okay guys we're going we're going for something i don't know what it would be i didn't know yet because uh right here at twenty-five thousand, uh, yeah 25k we broke this level okay we, we 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 broke we broke out so it's only normal to gain support somewhere around there uh, obviously at the 61.8 uh, at or around the 61.8 of this entire swing on the upside but we'll shrink it down and i will go on the daily time frames for you guys okay just this will be a long video this is something that i'm doing on a thursday so it will last until the weekend so you can actually get my grip because remember this video is the most i in my personal opinion is one of the most important videos that you will actually see this week because remember some guys are actually saying that the bull market is right back and now we're booming on the upside stuff like that um yeah they said that before um but i think it's not ready yet okay so follow me uh just like it just like they they were with the gold right i mean they said that the gold will you know dip and drop and die look at gold right now and who was the one who actually told you that there's one more leg up on gold eh, that leg up is finalizing very very soon okay so keep it steady uh, by the way there's a video on gold uh, which i did two days ago okay looking quite good uh target reached by the way 1340 all good y'all profitable trading congrats to the ones who actually followed congrats to the elite wa members thank you guys for your for your uh, courage and confidence and support now let's go one two right super cycles green one two and then cycle waves one two three four five right here ending in october 2018 
Now after that we have an ABC boom and then just hitting the fibs and we basically reversing from this one so supports and then we're obviously I would expect an ending diagonal to be honest with you I wouldn't expect such a massive 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 swing on the upside because we already have an extension on the Dow Jones and all the US indices and we cannot really I mean possibly have another uh, extension okay um, that's my theory for now so uh, for now, I'm expecting an ending diagonal in the fifth leg in this cycle wave five green, which is also going to end obviously the super cycle, uh, no, sorry, grand super cycle wave uh, five blue. And then something, uh, something that would push us back to at least 2015 lows, if not even um, December, uh, so sorry, if not even 2009 lows. So it's kind of tricky yeah let's just move on with these macro perspective macro charts s p 500 uh, s p 500 monthly chart right here same exact same wave count i mean almost but same so uh, cycle uh, super cycle wave one green then the contraction super cycle wave two green and then cycle waves black one two Three, four. Notice the channel and the cycle wave free uh, black. So it looks like a free ohm. Now, after that, we, we basically topped out in October and tipped for this, and now we return. We made a new all-time high. So this is wave one for me, and as you can actually see, I mean, all these pictures that you're seeing are actually, were actually posted uh, one month ago okay so i'm just following up on that but i'm also gonna go on live charts and do this like a pro okay not like the other ones that you're seeing they're doing analysis on charts uh, on um, pictures anyhow let's just go uh, nasdaq however okay <clears throat> uh, i'm labeling it as uh the market crash could be a way forward for nasdaq but i don't know either. i don't i'm not sure about that yet We'll, we'll actually see but uh, as a macro perspective on this monthly chart on nasdaq 100 uh, we have wave one two three four and then five and then the uh, fourth wave is actually the grand super cycle blue and uh, super cycles one two three four five right here for the nasdaq to actually go anyhow regardless of the degrees the point is that something would be ending with uh, with a rise right here in the five wave sequence with a motive uh, wave sequence in a sense that this could either be an impulse or an ending diagonal okay so uh, cannot be anything else except an ending diagonal which is a motive wave or uh, a proper impulse which would include an extension but uh, i would doubt the extension and because of the reasons that i, I just mentioned before we already have the extension Okay, the bull market, the uh, actually the complacency period in which uh, investors they just think that everything is nice and peachy and we're just uh, you know uh, the day tomorrow will be the same like yesterday and stuff like that until it's not and it, the market tumbles. Let's just move on to the to the basically the let's say Japan right uh, Nikkei. Nikkei right here uh, in the 1990s on the big uh, Tokyo Stock Exchange crash. Okay it was just it's been in a corrective structure ever since then okay in a sense that the way i'm labeling it is in uh, cycle waves a b c so it's a complex w x y and the y wave of this b would actually be the market crash okay now the way i'm seeing this is uh basically let's say a b c w and then a b and then the ending diagonal in the c leg of this a b c for this super cycle wave x purple that's what i think it's going to top out so uh, uh, in the meantime we did have the dip and with just a matter of time um i mean uh, until it gains support but all these views if if they don't gain support right now this means that the market crash is, has already started and this is something that i'm actually explaining in this video okay so let's just uh continue with the last um, you know the last chart on this macro perspective this is the monthly chart on the uh, hsi on the hong kong stock exchange okay there's a fractal pattern going on right here 
which uh, I will be able to go over a little bit later. Okay, so um, basically, look, if you know fractals, I'm just gonna tell you. This piece right here, this piece in the middle, is actually this piece on the larger degree uh, scale. Yeah, okay. If you don't believe me, just check it out. If not, then shoot me a question or something and I will actually make a video on this, okay? Let's, let's make a challenge here. Shoot me a comment here in this video and I will explain to you this fractal pattern. And I will explain to you exactly what. But uh, just, uh, let's say for instance, uh, from the top, from the top of my head, right? This dip right here is actually this dip right here. This rise right here is actually this rise right here. Then you have, uh, then you have this dip, okay, which is basically, uh, okay, the, the way it, the way it goes, it's actually this dip, okay. Then you have this rise right here, which is this rise right here, which could be this rise uh, as well. But you know, I mean, I mean, I mean that this rise. But all we need is one more push, and the fibs are actually showing me 40k, okay. Now, I'm actually let's say already labeling this as a potential running or expanding flat in a wave four over a very large degree but i will be able to do this uh, video under one condition if you shoot me a comment asking me to explain to you and show you the fractal pattern remember the fractal on the euro on the on gold and the one on the usd jpy that i did and uh, they all went like this this is what's happening the market uh, unfolds with repetitive patterns you just have to spot them now we're done we're, we're done with this again if uh, as you can see from this message I'm actually keen on trading this market crash if you are and you want to be uh, with me in this game then either the invest fund or uh, the one-on-one -on -one sessions okay thanks a lot now we will now move on to um, the indices okay on the live charts european and u.s uh, indices so let's go okay so let's kick things off with the uh, european indices with cac uh, 40 france 40 right here um on the daily time frame now i'm not gonna go over this entire uh, pattern because i already did and you guys know that um you guys know my views okay from the from from that time let's say on may 18th when i said uh excuse my french but les urs arrive, or whatever <laughs> okay so uh back when uh basically this thing dipped okay so you guys can actually see this view okay now targets reached right here and then just you know that's it so um let's just see from the time from that point on right so we finalized wave four cycle wave four green right there with this w x a b c oh, sorry uh, y x in a running triangle and then uh, the y uh, the z sorry so we have a complete triple free pattern right here w x y x z uh, primary degree scale which is actually ending the cycle degree four now we did gain support and I was resilient here, okay? Especially, I mean, at this levels. It convinced me, the markets were, uh, I mean, convinced me that they are, might, they might actually return to the bullish side when they broke out of this zone and they entered this uh, zone, okay? So what are we doing right now on the CAC? Well, the way I'm seeing things on this, uh, on this CAC uh, 40, is basically we have a proper impulse in a five wave sequence with an extension which is pretty marvelous to see in a return of a bull market which is quite cool okay the only thing that i don't have is basically a, a complete pattern in a i mean a full corrective structure in a b wave so i can actually label it this as a second wave and the way i'm seeing things is this is either uh, this b wave is that going to be a uh, running or expanding flat by the looks of it it's not i don't think it's going to be an expanding flat so we can't really go until the 161.8 or something like that so i would prefer 100 percent. as you can actually see it's doing something right now and might be able to form a shooting star or something okay or oh, this is the daily chart okay so i would be expecting these fibs to be uh hit okay so another wave on the downside in a c leg because the VIX might be spiking again and I'm going to go on the VIX later on, okay? So 
slowly slowly we'll take all of them so we're, we're gonna finish up with this cac okay and then we're gonna uh, continue so basically let's say this uh, intermediate to second wave okay wave two uh, i'm labeling it as an abc uh, pattern but with a running flat in a um, minor wave b uh, orange so the structure will be a b c and uh, obviously the reversal points will be the 100 percent so we'll see if it even does that i mean it doesn't really have to it can tack directly but it has to hit at least 50 or 61.8 by the looks of this it might actually hit 61.8 because we know cac how it actually uh, behaves okay so let's say if it's gonna tank now then 100 percent is around the one, uh, one um the 61.8 right there so we'll, we'll 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 basically see there is a trend line right here which i i have been using if you are actually following me from a while back let me just uh let me just see yeah from the time i was actually bullish for the last fifth leg i mean yeah, i mean i've been here I, i've been here on the block okay so it's not like i didn't uh, no so this was back in august 2017 but enough about this daily chart we'll just continue now with the uh, cac on the four hour time frame okay because we're shrinking in so the way this looks uh, on the two hour time frame and um, by the way on the daily let me just do something right here on a daily time frame yeah this was when let's say on back on may 6th when i actually said that the second wave is actually commencing i did not have the last i mean the, the i was expecting the b wave a proper b wave to actually commence but the main view is on the downside so uh, as i actually uh, as i'm actually saying right here um whatever i'm just saying something some something like uh, if it broke if it breaks out of this this zone uh so something like that then it's uh, most likely going to um the wave two is actually confirmed okay so something like that if it breaks out of this zone so it did now we i what i what i don't have is the proper b ending okay so it looks like it's ending right now and what i want to do is basically let's just, just zoom in because right here before right before it topped uh this is the four hour time frame so right then let's say following up on april 9th i actually posted these uh, entry orders okay i mean as, as a trading signal for the members in, in which i'm explaining some some levels to actually enter and trade this possibly trade this on the downside it looks like it wants to dip one more uh basically as you can see on make a chart right here maybe maybe going uh, on a lower side once more okay and then uh, as it reached this top and i noticed this possibility i've obviously uh, maybe uh, i was thinking that maybe 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 it could it could have one more upside uh, you know in a case that in an overshoot or something like that but i was already bearish with the other orders okay as you can actually see with this one so it dipped it hit enter okay now as you can see break even points just waiting for the c leg okay because um i wouldn't want to kick myself uh, this could be quite good this this move on the downside could actually be quite good and quite fast okay so the way i'm labeling this b wave on this four hour chart will be uh, basically a w x and then y uh, this could pass as an ABC uh, as well, and the A wave could actually finish here. So we'll, we would only have an ABC, but still, it's the same thing. It's a running flat, okay? So um, you just you just need to be on top of it. So basically, CAC 40, okay? Um, as a summary, I'm expecting a C leg, and all the indices are actually showing this. So a C leg right there. Now we will now move on to dax dax on the daily time frame and practically the same thing the structure the sequence right here the way uh, the way this developed uh, and and by the way i was actually inclining for uh, bearish outcomes there was like a lot of um, a lot of things happening so basically right here i called this drop 
and somewhere around here I was preparing for uh, for the rise not sure if I have one here but no anyhow this is when I thought it would uh, be complex this failed and that's this is when I've I've been mentioning in the room in a green room and stuff like that and updates and everything that this thing is actually coming this was right on uh, February uh, at the beginning of February 2018 so it dipped now again uh, right here I've been bearish let's say before I was bearish then bearish again then bearish again and again and again and so on right and you guys can actually see how um, how these these things performed I mean I was uh, you know and then I've I, I knew I mean I've been signaling the alarms and stuff like that during the videos and webinars that this thing is gonna shoot on the upside but the, my, my main question was I did not know how powerful this would be and if it will fail or not so I just preferred not to get too enthusiastic about it okay now the way this is sliding I mean this went on the upside is in a one two three four five in a leading diagonal for this one and of course the wave 2 retracement should be able to tag the 50 or 61.8 of that entire swing and the same structure as the CAC A and then a running flat in this B and as you can see it got re I mean got rejected exactly at the 100% hence the reason why I started with Mr. Draghi there in the back uh, doing this thing and uh, you know possibly changing something by the way this uh, these arrows right here they're like there is the real deal so um yeah something is coming yo okay now if it started already then this small thing then might just be it i mean i don't know but yet if it breaches the 61.8 just like i said in the previous videos yes i know if they do breach the 61.8 it's game over so moving on okay dax on the four hour time frame so as you guys can actually see this kind of fits as the end of the fifth leg one two three four and this might this four might not be over so it might be able to push one more we don't know maybe maybe wants to tag the 100 percent okay so it might be able to uh, actually do that but the point is that my uh, my actual view is not on the upside unless it breaches the 100 percent so the first stage is 100% as a potential reversal uh, in which it could deliver this. Now, if it breaches the 100%, it goes to 61.8, then uh, this could actually turn into an expanding flat W X Y. Okay, so I'm already already labeling it as a uh, as a W X Y, but uh, we'll we'll basically see uh, more. But I'm inclining my main view is for the downside. Uh, for the DAX for all indices right now because the VIX could be able to spike we're gonna go on the VIX later on and we're gonna uh, see this uh, see this through so let's continue okay let's go to the uh, let me just go on the FTSE on the uh, daily time frame okay same thing running flat right here which could be able to deliver this uh, this drop okay as you can actually see leading diagonal ABC so one two three four five for this intermediate a and then intermediate B being labeled as an ABC um, with a running flat in this B pretty nice and simple um, maybe maybe I should uh, this scenario has actually good chances of uh, of um, uh, developing like this so We'll basically see now we'll now move on to the uh, US indices let me just go on uh, Dow Jones on the daily time frame because it is hovering around this important uh, trend line right here and this trend line comes way 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 from, from way back yeah I mean this supports and it, it broke it uh, in December on the great fall that uh, that I actually uh, called yeah so by the way i call this drop okay and i was present here this is actually visible in the four hour chart as a trading signal but the point is that i've been able to call these dips i mean i was preparing here for the vix spike and then i got a possible confirmation i mean i got my confirmation but yeah for the dip 
now the way i'm labeling the uh, rise in the one two three four five with an ending diagonal in the five so basically wave one topped out right there and then of course i've been uh, uh bearish and this is was again in a time when people you know thought that the market is going up and stuff like that i mean we're really really rising in that very big very big impulse and um i've basically was i was mentioning the possibility of uh, i mean explain two scenarios either it goes up for one more and then it drops or it just drops directly breaches it and just drops directly so it decided to drop directly now what's it doing so i got what i wanted basically the fall yeah now what's it doing is the practically the same thing a running flat right i either running or expanding flat so this can actually go and wants to attack this top but we'll zoom in for that so again it is hovering around this uh, this trend line so what i'm thinking that it will do it will just like do the same thing that i did here just drop yeah hit the 50 or the 61.8 right there and then the bull market could actually be returning all right so for that we're gonna go on the four hour time frame and as you can actually see the four hour time frame the way this uh, went on the downside and by the way these are uh these are the orders unfortunately for the dow jones uh my levels were not hit because i was expecting one more up and that was when um i was it was very very close <laughs> okay but uh, the point is that it did go on the uh, on the downside yeah so it dipped a lot now following up on that as it did um, as it did start uh, dropping right here i was explaining that uh, the fact that if it does not go up and it would if it and if it breaches then uh, the, the wave two is already in play and that's basically uh, that's exactly what uh, what happened right there okay so this piece right here i'm labeling it as a potential running flat from a to b with the fibonacci extensions 161.8 100 percent we already broke through it so could be able to um I mean, doesn't really have to go, uh, or, you know, 161.8 or 200% if it's going to be an expanding flat or something. But I get the feeling that um, the sea leg is already in play. Now, remember, I was, uh, sorry. Yeah. Remember, I've been bearish. My view is not for the up yet. Okay. I just need one more tip for, for me to be up. Okay. So let's just move on. S&P 500 on the daily time frame. Same thing, running flat. And we are exactly at the 100% Fibonacci extensions from A and B in order for us to be able to have a C, this minor C uh, orange, uh, thus completing an entire pattern in this ABC, uh, in this uh, intermediate B uh, red. Okay, so once this B wave is complete, then a C leg should be able to uh, be delivered in order for us to hit this trend line and the fibonacci and the fibs right the fibonacci retracement of this swing on the upside so i'm giving you guys very valuable things here and um you know i could do this um i'm trying to do this as fast as i can but i like to talk a lot <laughs> so, sorry uh, okay so let's move on to the um nasdaq yeah nasdaq on the daily time frame now nasdaq could push a little bit more um it's just a matter of time but nasdaq does does like this um you know frag this uh, the running flats and stuff like that uh and uh, even on the on the s p and nasdaq and stuff like that by the way let me just show you something really cool on the S&P 500 because unlike because I've been I've been actually preparing right here right here and right here yeah I've been preparing for the uh, US indices sell-offs let's say starting in April let's, let's say and giving my members here some orders some important uh, orders right there and my views sharing my opinions and stuff like that right so uh, basically, yeah, you guys can actually see I had uh, an aggressive uh, moderate and uh, conservative entry right right there and this was basically the cherry on top of the cake and actually i mean as it was topping out 
I posted some more and this one was actually public yeah so uh, saying that it might form one more high and then exactly from there boom with this level so spot on y'all exactly from from there and remember i mean on the s p um the mini me in the back said uh, uh i mean agreed said um, two two eight eight five two thousand nine hundred something like that but it did go all the uh, all the way up to two thousand nine hundred and um, sixty almost okay so anyhow the uh, invalidations points the stop losses were not hit so we're good now nasdaq let's just continue with the nasdaq okay nasdaq right here on the on this daily time frame um again on the nasdaq same thing just before it tipped just because uh, before uh, it dropped a lot and uh, you know made this i was actually saying that um either we have one more leg up in the proper uh i mean because i i wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt right but i've been i've been bearish i mean this this view is bearish it's not bullish and you know so basically it dropped and it broke out it, it breached so right now that it breached it yes we're uh and even in in december and stuff like that uh, even right here i was i was actually present all over the place okay so uh same thing running flat a b c thus touching the 50 61.8 fibs uh, fibs retracements okay so now let's just continue with um the four hour chart on nasdaq now the four hour chart i'm labeling it as an a b and then the c leg in this a uh, minor a red and then minor wave b red labeled as an a b c on a minute degree thus uh, completing the uh, b wave in this uh, the, the b wave on the minor degree which is basically this red b right here so a b c running flat touching the i mean not touching or they haven't touched it yet it might actually be able to do that um not sure if it's gonna even hit the 161.8 1 by the way it looks it i doubt it because this kind of looks like a small ending diagonal right here in this c leg and thus preparing for the fall so um, that's the reason why i'm doing this video y'all so you can actually get this for free and make some money yeah um so basically let's say uh, even on nasdaq yeah i was actually preparing for uh for the downfall and basically on this down i i've this was these were orders obviously for the for the member just like the SP, just like the dow just like the tax just like the cac and so so on right look at these levels right exactly from these levels uh, and this was because of the fibs that i'm uh, that i'm using so it tipped it dropped now it could be able to drop one more time so if it does do that then my statement my following statement would be the uh, the following one um i think that the market the bull market might just might have might have just i mean it might be returning but i need the c leg first in order for us to get it over with and get it you know get it done with this second wave wave two intermediate wave two so for that let's just do something really neat right here okay what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna continue with the fix uh, the VIX on the two hour time frame because uh, on the VIX, let's say for instance, this is something that I used for uh, for me to actually be able to predict multiple spikes, let's say right here at the bottom. Uh, this was back in um, August 2018 when I said that the VIX will actually um, could actually be able to spike. Yeah, and it did. Now, what it did in the meantime okay and even even right after that as it was preparing to deliver the the, the big one the big one on the upside is been able and look at how, where it stopped exactly right there it, it, these fibs are amazing if you know how to use them right so it made an, this was basically the october uh, red october and bloody december or something whatever they call it but even so i was preparing right here this one it did jump on the upside it's okay okay but this one, this one was the uh, piece of resistance, the final piece for the booming, right? 
So the labels were different, but now I've changed it just a little bit because right here it's actually starting the same sequence for the upside and it did rise and this this is basically the current uh, dip for the indices the um, i mean the retracement wave one stop uh, right here and then the vix spiking and indices tanking okay delivering the wave two now as you can actually see it went up but i'm going to show you something really 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 cool Okay, because even even right there, I'm, I've been actually preparing now. I think that this 61.8 could cause this rise again in the VIX before the VIX will uh, be able to deliver this um, you know, the place the greed period, which are these ones you actually see, and the fear when it goes up is bad for indices. When it goes down, it's actually the complacency period. Investors basically walking blindly towards the edge of the uh, edge of the cliff it's as simple as that i mean they just keep on buying euphoria uh, let's you know uh, market is booming and stuff like that we're greedy now let me show you something really really cool i'm gonna do this um okay i think it's yeah from here to here i'm just gonna copy this okay just gonna place it here and i'm gonna show you something what something that i did on the on gold on usdjpy on multiple things because as i said the market is uh fractal by uh, nature now it will take me a while to actually do this but anyhow this is amazing and just you you guys can actually see how they don't need to be the same they just need to look alike so i'm just gonna put it right here okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys right we had previously so remember this piece right here is actually this piece right here it's no magic okay but i'm uh, attempting to predict the future um like uh, to, to forecast as as a fractal pattern as a repetitive pattern so we had a rise then drop rise drop we had a rise then drop rise drop then you have a rise and then we have a rise and then we have drop rise drop rise drop drop rise drop rise drop this drop right here is actually this drop right here exactly the day when i said it's gonna go up and the indices will be destroyed yeah in the on the third of december when it all started so that actually stopped at the 61.8 of that entire move okay so given that said this is supposed to happen once more right here before it starts doing this and this would be this okay you follow me so far okay let's make the chart clean now and gonna take it back now let's just see now the 61.8 of that represents basically the it's this 61.8 okay so from here to here we'll measure this one and it's already put here it's 61.8 which is also 78.6 of this okay uh, actually of that so what am i saying here i'm saying that uh, at the 61.8 the vix might be able to deliver one last move on the upside before the bull market will actually return for the indices and basically this is how it's supposed to look like okay now i know this video is quite long I don't want to keep you guys for a long time, but uh, basically, that's that, that's about it for today. Now, if you uh, like these videos and you would like me to create more content, more free content such as this one, okay, please remember to support me with a thumbs up. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Now, if you would like to work with me, if you would like to make an investment, if you would like me to manage your funds or something like that, 
that is possible on the website under the invest fund if you like to start having some uh, private one-on-one -on -one sessions uh, trading charting tr whatever sessions with me then do that if you like to learn one-on-one -on -one, then uh, there is a private course available if you just like to learn for free there's content available in which on the website in which i'm explaining everything i mean all these patterns all everything that i'm actually doing there's a new course coming i'm working on it it will take me a long time because i want to do it right more complicated more complex more advanced and stuff like that but bear with me here guy y'all i mean you know um yeah I i'm doing i'm doing my best I i'm actually trying so hope you like this views uh, the as a summary i am actually explaining uh, expecting a vix spike but also the last move down also a dip another c leg an impulse for uh, the uh, indices worldwide so thanks a lot for tuning in until next time as i like to say to all my traders stay in the green and many pips ahead bye for now y'all